a small herd of Jerseys here in the heartland is enough for them. I wanted to get out of Pennsylvania. I didn't care where we moved. Well, you can farm for as far as you can see out there, too. You just can't see as far. Craig and Lisa Miller used to milk this herd in Pennsylvania. The town was getting spreading out. And we were getting sucked up in it. Three years ago, they made the nearly 1,400-mile trek to be milking those same cows here south of Hazelton. We knew what we had, and uh, we liked the cows. And mm -hmm. It didn't, oh, well, for what it cost to run a semi out, it cost us maybe two, two cows, equal to two cows. So, eh, you think of it that way, it's not so bad. Every morning and every evening from 6 to 10, the couple is here in the barn and they both agreed they wouldn't have it any other way. The traffic and the cost of living and just the crowd, it's just crowded, you couldn't expand. I mean, we had to rent most of our farmland that, to get crops and it was just too expensive. So and just to go like to two miles down the road, it took 45 minutes to get there. And when you're riding on a tractor, they don't have respect for, you know, they don't care. Miller says that one of the biggest advantages of North Dakota versus Pennsylvania is the feed costs. He says out there a ton of alfalfa could cost you $200 a ton. Here that same ton could cost you 50, maybe $70 at best. Miller's say despite the lower milk prices, they have no intention of changing their lifestyle or location anytime soon. Oh, well, there's nothing I don't like about it. The open space. Lots of land, no people, less traffic, just, just paradise. South of Hazleton for KX News, I'm Sarah Gustin.